Hi, Craig here again. I've got a quick build for you. If you are a filmmaker, uh, a camera operator, or just somebody who loves tech, and you suffer from this problem. One of the biggest pet peeves I ever have is because I am such a tech guy and I love my camera gear and I love buying new sort of gadgets and gizmos and things like that is I have a truckload of cables, batteries and chargers and up until a couple of weeks ago they were all just sitting beside my bed. This is a simple DIY box where I've just velcroed in a, a power adapter with a lot of my chargers and batteries and I've placed them in such a way that I can fit them in and get access to the cables. And right now, I'm gonna show you how to make it. First of all, what you're gonna need is some sort of plastic box. I've picked a box with a lid. I've also accidentally <laughs> realized that I've picked a transparent box. In hindsight, because when you're charging things, they tend to light up a lot. I would recommend if you're going out buying a plastic box, what you would do is get one that's not transparent and is pretty much opaque. Something that's like a solid color, so when you close the lid, it's not still lighting up your bedroom or lighting up your study, wherever your box may be. It is constant, it's containing all the, the light uh, pollution coming from the box. You're also gonna need to borrow, beg, or steal some sort of file. I've picked one here with a bit of a blunt edge, which did the job, and I was able to cut through the box quite well. You're also gonna need to pick up a box of this. This is just some Velcro that I picked up at um, The Range, which is a store here in the UK, but if you're anywhere else in the world, just check out your local uh, hardware stores, or you can pick up the same box, uh, although slightly more expensive, for a couple of pound or two uh, on Amazon. I have picked up this Velcro here, which actually holds up seven kilograms. So I could take something seven kilograms, stick it to a wall, and it'll hold. It'll also peel off my wallpaper, but that's besides the point. You can get this also in a three kilogram weight, and I would recommend you pick up the three kilogram weight. I originally bought this so I could attach my hard drive to the back of my laptop, and that way it's just always attached. It's not this separate entity. If I grab my laptop, it's not gonna drag behind. And what I found with that is it is a nightmare to get that hard drive back off the lid of my laptop. So if you want an easy time taking things on and off the Velcro, I recommend getting the three kilogram version of this Velcro uh, double adhesive. It's basically comes with two sides of the strip. I'm already struggling to tear it apart. So you get two parts of the Velcro there. You get the prickly side and you get the soft side. On the back of each side is a little bit of 3M tape that you can uh, attach and stick to anything. You get about a meter of this, which is more than enough for what I was needing it for, and I've still got some to spare. So it's worth picking some up, especially if you can think of any other applications for it. Right, so I went on Amazon and I picked up this. This is the iBlock Cube. Uh, it's got six USBs and three power sockets. I wanted uh, one that was a mixture of USB and uh, power sockets, just because you never really know what uh, gear I might be getting down the line, and it might only come with an option for a power socket. This can also be quite handy, so I can take this box, just grab it, take it on a shoot, and I can also use it to power other sort of camera gear, other just general electrical gear on shoot. What's good about this power block slash extension cable is the three power sockets are actually shaped so they can work with any sort of global uh, plug, whether you're in the UK, the US, uh, the EU, wherever. The USB slots as well are 3.4 amps, which is really fast. It means that it allows for fast charging if you've got a fast charger cable or a device that allows for fast charging. It comes with its own independent power switch to save me switching it off from the wall. I can just push one button in the box and everything turns off. It also comes with overload protection. So as soon as it, it detects uh, ampage overload, it'll just cut off straight then and there. As well as all that, it's got a two meter extension cable, which is really handy if my wall socket may be on set or in my room is just too far away, but I need it to be quite close to where I am. So it is quite handy as well. 
uh, for things like that. If you want to buy this, I'll leave the link in the description below. I picked it up for $15.99 at the time, now it's gone up to about $16.99. So if you leave it on your Amazon wish list, which is a little useful tip for me, eventually Amazon will offer you the things on those lists for a discounted price. So it's worth just putting it on your list now, keeping an eye on it, and when you're getting around to doing it, just plug it in, just push the button and get it delivered, and then you can start building your own box now. Right, let's get to the build. What you're going to need to do is get your box and then you're going to need to get all the chargers that you're going to need and you're going to get the iBlock cube or whatever power adapter extension that you bought. What you're then going to do is just sort of map it out in the box. Take your time just to figure out how easy it will be to access all the ports on all your chargers. What you don't want to do is be faffing about or realizing that the cable is too long to actually fit in or to attach if you need to unplug it, whatever. Take especially good care when you're taking your iBlock cube and figure out what side of the box that you want the cable to run out of it. Now you can easily run out of it without having to cut anything in it. Uh, you could cut into the lid, which was another option I was considering, but what I've decided to do was just cut into the side of it, which in hindsight, does take a long time so bear that in mind after that what you're going to need to do is place them out when you're happy with it just mark it round with a sharpie or a pen next is the really easy bit you're just going to cut all the bits of velcro to size on all your chargers you're not going to undo the tape yet because what we're going to do is just make sure that we're still happy with how everything's laid out we're even going to try putting in the cables just to make sure that everything is accessible and doesn't sort of bump into each other or just impossible to plug in and out. When you've decided what side of the box or how you want the cable to leave the box, just start filing. The best advice I can give you from uh, crafted design uh, classes that I did in high school was just slowly start grooving, just drawing back the blade until you've made a nice groove. When you start making a groove, then you can start sawing nice and gently. You don't need to exert a lot of force. If you exert a lot of force on this, you're going to find that the box is bending and everything. So just soft, but nice smooth movements back and forward. Eventually you will get there and you'll know you're getting there because you get little dust particles just sawing away from the box. You will eventually get all the way down to the box and then you have to start on the other side. And then just to, you'll be left with a little tab that you just need to file off at a very awkward angle. In my case, my box, I didn't go down far enough. So make sure that you're the level you're filing down to is plus with the bottom of your iBlock cube so then it can just run out without making this awkward angle like in my box. And if you want, just to make sure that it's a nice smooth edge along those parts that you've just filed down, just get a bit of sanding paper and just rub that down. When you're set, when you're confirmed, when you're happy that this is going to work, start taking off the adhesive, start sticking it in. And that's pretty much it. That is such an easy build. And now I can just pick up the box and get on my way with shooting. And now you can be a more efficient filmer too.